greetings all are one, and you all know that yet, because of the rules of the game being a human in form you have allowed yourselves to forget this eternal and unchanging truth. The awakening process, in which the human collective recently collectively agreed to participate, is now moving forward very rapidly. You are seeing wonderful signs of this in many locations and circumstances and yet you doubt. Let go of those doubts, for, like the illusion dream, they are unreal. To have doubts and dwell on them is a choice many of you keep making choose not to do so any longer, and when any do arise into your conscious awareness dismiss them immediately, do not dwell on them. Yes, many on earth are experiencing major suffering, and by being in the world, but not of it you can be fully aware of this without entering into that experience. Every time this awareness comes to mind due to yet another disturbing news item, or because someone you know and love, or even you yourself are suffering, remind yourselves that there is only love. Then send love healing to whichever suffering one wants. You have become aware of, but without being drawn into that suffering and thus allowing your energy to be drained by any sense of guilt or shame you may feel in the awareness of knowing that all are one, and perhaps then feeling or believing that maybe you two are in some way responsible. You need all your energy and you have a limitless abundance of it in every moment to be able to send the fullness of love healing to those in need. You have all experienced the powerful and uplifting energy of love and acceptance when in the presence of a very loving person. Well, you all have that power, and when you choose to be at peace within yourselves, no matter what is happening around you, then it is fully available for you to direct to wherever you are intuitively guided to direct it. You are, as we have discussed before, presently on earth, precisely where you are now, because you made the wise, generous, and most beautiful decision before incarnating to assist as fully as you possibly could in humanity awakening process. You are doing that now, so do not allow any ego-driven doubts of incompetence, guilt, shame, or unworthiness that may arise to distract you from your divine and holy purpose being you now. Your love, you know this at the depths of your being, and yet your egos keep whittling away at your totally legitimate right to believe and entrust yourselves, your intuition, your inner knowing. Their one aim is to distract you from your real purpose, which you so frequently doubt, by filling your minds with a flood of thoughts that serve absolutely no useful purpose. You are here to be, and to demonstrate the love that you are. That is what being yourself truly means. Do not allow yourselves to get drawn either into thoughts or discussions about the immense harm that so many are causing, or about what others are able to do so much more lovingly and effectively than you. You are where you were meant to be. You chose to be right where you are now because it is the most effective place for you to be right now, in this moment. In another moment you may well be somewhere else, but right now you are here. You are meant to be here, so be here. In this present moment you are always exactly where you were meant to be, and this is true in every moment. Every moment. Yes, you may at times wish you were somewhere else, especially if you are undergoing any kind of suffering physical, emotional, psychological, or spiritual but understand that any personal suffering is a wake-up call to assist you in learning the lessons that you chose to place on your human life path, and to which, whatever the reason may be, you are not paying close enough attention. Your ego-driven oof brain chatter will attempt to distract you with thoughts such as I don't need this. This is not fair. I am really doing my best so why is this happening? Remind yourself frequently that you are where you are by your own free will choice. Obviously this often appears not to be the case, and your egos love to try, sometimes quite successfully, to convince you that something has gone wrong. You may even succeed in convincing yourselves that this is true. Dissatisfaction with the way your lives appear to be unfolding often occurs, especially when it involves intense suffering of any kind. Remember, you are where you have chosen to be. So what are you doing or failing to do in this now moment may well be an experience to help you grow in wisdom and self-acceptance. What you experience that upsets or disturbs is nearly always due to your own perception or judgment of an issue not the issue itself. It all comes back to trusting your intuition, your inner guidance, and then dealing with whatever arises with love, instead of with fear-driven anger which is often a default mode for those in form and playing the game. Whatever you are aware of experiencing is a human and form peace, love happiness, pain suffering, or resentment do take a time out to remind yourselves that your true nature is love, that you are always inseparably at one with source, and you are in the situation that is delivering these experiences in order, by your loving presence, 
to assist others who are also undergoing various assorted difficulties. This is not a case of attempting to be spiritually significant in the eyes of others, because if you do come from your hearts, offering only love, you will be doing enormously successful spiritual work and it hardly work. Just being what you are love is your purpose, as your presence gently nudges others towards their own awakening. All are awakening now. However, because the illusion is massively invested in time, the idea of all being on a path to awaken together is extremely hard for you to get a handle on. Remind yourselves that the material world, form and substance, are unreal. Only Mother, Father, God, Source, Love is real. You know this deep within yourselves, and as you choose to become increasingly aware of this, the worldly problems that all encounter will be less and less unsettling for you. Trust in God, in love, and in yourselves, because doing so is surrendering to the divine will and thus allowing love to empower and guide you in every moment of your human existence. Yes, problems or issues will still arise, but you will find yourselves able to deal with them by addressing them lovingly, and then any egoic need to be in control will fall away, and you will find yourselves basically at peace and very much better able to assist others. Then you will become increasingly aware of the peace and contentment that others find in your presence. With so very much love, 